Hi guys, in this video we're going to take a look at what we know about the upcoming NVIDIA 1080 Ti graphics card that's soon to be released. We will discuss the leaked specifications and use that to compare performance against the GTX 1080 and the GTX Titan. Cracky. Well, well, apparently there have been some leaks about the 1080 Ti but the legitimacy of these are questionable. If you have a look at this picture, look at it where it says 3328 CUDA calls. If you look, the 33 and the 28 don't quite line up. You know, you could say, is this evidence of this being photoshopped and it's fake? I don't really know. It's up to you guys to decide. Anyway, let's base our facts on the fact that this may be true and also throw in a little bit of common sense. So from what we can see, well, the new 1080 Ti is going to be based on, well of course, a 16 nanometer Pascal chip. They're not getting a smaller process chip like the 14 nanometer chips AMD use for their current range and their upcoming Vega GPU, but we are seeing a different chip from that of the GP104 that powers the GTX 1080. So the 1080 Ti will use the GP102 chip. And yes, this means that the 1080 Ti is based on the same chip as the GTX Titan. So that gives it around 12 billion transistors. Wow, that's a lot. Yeah, in fact it's a 66% increase in transistor count compared to the 7.2 billion of the GTX 1080's 104 chip. So, like the Titan though, our TDP goes up to 250 watts compared to 180 watts for the GTX 1080. So from what we can see, the 1080 Ti will support 52 streaming multiprocessors. These will be in 26 SM clusters, giving a 3328 CUDA core count. To compare this to the Titan X, this has 28 clusters, giving that card a 3584 CUDA core count. And then again comparing this to the vanilla GTX 1080, by comparison this card has 20 SM clusters, giving it a 2560 CUDA core count. Now on a side note, interestingly the Titan doesn't use the full potential of the GP102 chip, it only uses 28 SM clusters. Now Nvidia's Quadro P6000 uses the GP102's full 30 SMs, giving a CUDA core count of 3840. But if you want those extra two clusters, you've got to be prepared to pay $5,000 plus for that card. So let's move on to memory. The 1080 Ti will have 12 gigs of RAM. This is the same as the Titan, but the Titan has GDDR5X RAM. But the leak says that the 1080 Ti is going to have the lesser GDDR5 non-X memory. And I guess the reasoning behind this is basically to keep the cheaper 1080 Ti clearly behind the Titan. But I don't know if this is good reasoning. If you think about it, with the launch of AMD's new Vega 10 on the horizon, don't tell me that Nvidia is worried about hurting the sales of the Titan X. Because if you remember, that certainly wasn't a problem when they launched the GTX 980 Ti which at the time was competing with AMD's newly released Fury X. Basically they care far more about beating a rival's card than worrying about hurting the sales of one of their own cards. Because they'd much rather someone buy Nvidia than go and buy the rival AMD card. Even if that means to make that happen that they have to hit the Titan X sales a little by having a highly spec 1080 Ti. So in my opinion, I think the 1080 Ti will have the GDDR5X memory. So let's say it does. What's the speed of the memory interface? Well the memory interface is going to be 384 bit, just the same as the Titan. So given that and it coupled with GDDR5X memory, we should be looking at a 480 gigabyte per second memory bandwidth. And if we compare this to the vanilla 1080, which is on the 256-bit interface, that gets a 320 gigabyte per second bandwidth. So let's move on to clock speeds. Clock speeds are reportedly higher on the TI than the Titan, with the TI having a base clock of 1503 MHz base, compared to the 1400 of the Titan X. 
and the TI has a boost clock of 1623 MHz compared to the boost clock of 1500 MHz on the Titan TX. So how would this translate into performance? Well I think we could expect to achieve about 10.8 teraflops of compute power on the 1080 Ti. Now that's just shy of the Titan's 11 teraflops and it's blazing past the vanilla GTX 1080's 9 teraflops. So overall it's going to be an absolutely awesome card. So what we all want to know is when are we going to be able to get our hands on one of these cards? Well my guess is at the January 2017 CES show, as the NVIDIA CEO is the first keynote speaker, I think that the card's going to be announced then. And rumour has it, it's going to be costing around seven to 800 US dollars. So guys, that's about all we know about the 1080 Ti so far. But one thing's for sure, in whatever form and whenever it arrives, there's one thing we know for sure, it's going to have killer performance. Anyway guys, I really hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, I'd really appreciate you giving it a like. And if you'd like to see more videos from me in the future, then please subscribe to the channel. And whatever you're up to for the rest of the day, I hope it's good, and I'll catch you in the next video.